Welcome to the 11th episode of the Let's Build series in which I want to build a whole city quarter with you and the 50,000th try to record this because people keep flying into my way or I'm, I'm being called or something like this always happens. So maybe, maybe if you hear this, that then this will be a good sign that I finally made it and uploaded it. But, yeah, let's just start. So, in the previous episodes, what we did was to build these four houses, which don't quite look like four houses from the outside, um, but they are. I calculated, I counted, and even though my math sucks, I can count to four. Not to five, but to four. Okay, um, I want to add another quite basic house here. Uh, as you can see, I have cleared a little bit of the dirt beforehand. And I want to start it on this layer so that it's one block lower than the previous layer, so that once again we get this kind of this kind of wavy look from these cross beams here. And I want to start it once again. I want to build this uh, with three blocks, or basically in total five blocks width. Um, maybe a future house will be. Uh, will be when I use four blocks or even six or something. Sometimes it's nice to have um, to have even numbers. Sometimes it isn't. Uh, we will see, and maybe it will end up looking good. Hopefully. Um, so this is the basic shape. Uh, the, the problem that I see instantaneously is that um, this is for for a room which is going to be three blocks wide. This is way too long. So we're gonna have to separate it in half, like this. And maybe uh, let's let's try something else. Let's 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 just try having even numbers here. So um, to cut it in half would be just too too easy, right? Too easy, too normal, and we don't want to be normal here. So um, I'm just gonna bring in some some kind of kind of random um, framework here maybe like this and then maybe like this something like that doesn't really matter too much as long as there's some kind of structure in there uh, then I want to make this kind of overhang that we did with the previous buildings as well um, just gonna grab a block Wooden axe real quick and to replace 17 by 17, 12 to, oops, 17, 12 to get these kinds of logs where you can't see a bottom so that you have the log texture all around it. And then I'm just gonna go up. So this is gonna be the, the second story. Uh, problem with this is, see, I wanna have this, I wanna, 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 I Okay. Um, I lost whatever I was trying to say. So I want this building to be a little bit taller than the previous ones, a little bit higher. Um, and if, it, if I would just, just do it like this, then we would end up with half a block here before the next roof starts, which will look it will look okay. But I want this building to be uh, to be complete. Well, to be taller as this one. So I don't want to want these roofs to kind of fuse into one another. I want these to be different. So, and, and therefore, first of all, since two of these square shapes on top of one another are quite weird, or they look very plain, I'm just gonna make, try and make another thing. I'm thinking about something like this here, uh, that we did on this building, to have these uh, one block wide sections. Problem with this is that these one block wide sections from the interior, they don't make too much sense and you can't really do anything cool on the inside. Uh, so what I could do, and what I'm... Hmm, am I gonna do it? That's the question, that's the big question here. If we start with a with a roof like this, right? Of course it would go on and on and on, like this. And then we have an inset and start the next building part here. It will look better, at least more varied. Even though it's not quite authentic, because usually you'd st you try and make more overhangs. Uh, but sometimes we, we have to stop building authentic um, for the sake of the looks in Minecraft, because authentic buildings would, in the end, always look like shit. Very, very weird, at least. Uh, so usually, 
uh, since since there was little space in medieval times, uh, you would start your house building uh, building it like here, and then try to expand it by having overhangs as far as you can, as far as the structure can hold it, so that you have more space on the inside, even though you have probably a very small or narrow layout. Um, but sometimes we just need to, to build things in Minecraft that they look good rather than having them being 100% accurate or historically accurate, right? So I'm just gonna continue these frames as we don't have to worry about this side as always because in the end we will put other buildings up to this side or maybe yeah it could be nice. I don't want to get rid of this of this hill not entirely. Uh, maybe it would be nice to have a kind of stair going up here to have a smaller house here so that's still high but it's it's starting with a base like two blocks higher so basically like here I'm just gonna sketch it because otherwise I'm gonna forget it so like this somehow right um, and therefore I'm gonna decorate this part because these buildings are just gonna collide here so we have to decorate this part of the building if you can follow what I'm just what I just um, so I'm just gonna make it like this once again bringing in some some framework here on these parts Ta -da -da -da. Uh, since I'm gonna separate this into two rooms I have to go up higher so we have a quite tall room like an entrance hall or something um, we could also make another floor so that we have two very narrow ones so that we can barely walk through but I think in this building, since it's also since it's long, it can also have like one big floor. Okay, so then it would continue like this, and then, then I think I want to have the next roof quite normally like this, right? Do I wanna, yeah, yeah, I wanna have another roof part here, so we're gonna staircase our way up, continue it, so that we have, we end up with this kind of shape, like this, yep, that seems, seems nice. I'm always, I'm always sketching these kinds of uh, roofs so that I can see what, it, or that I can try and imagine what it will look like in the end. And this seems about right, so that we don't just have this half block, but we have one and a half blocks here, and even more on this roof part. So we can try it like this. And on this back side here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, try and add anything to this because in the end we can cover it up with a roof so that nobody can see it from the outside. Or what we can could even do is to have a secret passage going from here all alongside the wall and leading like to a staircase that's going down here into a secret room. Also not quite authentic. There weren't too many of these kinds of hidden things in medieval times. It's more like a like a thing from movies and games that they use of course of course use these elements um, kind of to to bring in uh, variation and bring in some sense of adventure that you can ex uh, explore things, which is exactly why I'm gonna um, use it because it's always nice to find these kind of hidden things in cities or basically in any kind of Minecraft uh, Minecraft build where you can uh, try and find certain things you can go and explore or yeah even hidden mini games or something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna just copy the same structure from over here like this that's gonna be fine and since we do have to worry about this side because no wait, 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 wait change of plan again so we are gonna keep this part of the hill but we are also gonna add a tiny little house here right, right? like this so we are going to add a little bit more grass like this and then there's going to be another house here with another one here and this is going to be amazing hopefully now what we can also do still we we are left with this part of the building which will be too plain and what we can what can we do in order to fix that what can we do 
That is a very good question. Uh, let's and let's once again buy some time while continuing with the frames here. What can we do in order to fix this? We could add something to the outside, um, to the exterior of the building to make it look a little bit less plain, less edgy, less, well, blocky. But uh, what can we do? Mm. And you know what? I'm gonna leave this up to you. Because I'm, I'm lazy and uh, also you can bring some some suggestions so what should i do so basically the roof of this building is probably going to go something like this since it's going to be a small house something like this so we have this part left maybe maybe even like only like this so we have these four or five blocks to decorate post in the comments below what do you think or what is your opinion what should i add to this should i just put up some uh, some greenery or should there be like a, a hook up here to, to pull things up? Or what should be in this plain spot? Post a comment down below. I'm going to lo look it up um, before the last, uh, before the next episode. And then I'm going to decide um, what I'm going to end this or well, what I'm going to put there. Uh, for now, last thing I want to do for this episode. Actually, uh, I read a comment which made totally a lot of sense and it didn't really occur to me uh, before this comment. Um, I'm gonna try to make a longer episode to um, to finish off the next building that I'm uh, gonna do, not this one, but the next one, uh, because I tend to I tend to use uh, two episodes for one building, even though I'm finishing up the one building and. In the same episode, I am always um, starting the next one. So basically, the question was, why don't I just, well, build one building per episode and not half of the building and another half of another building? So uh, that is a that is a legitimate question, and I don't have the answer. So I'm just gonna do it from well the next next episode or the, uh, the the episode afterwards that I'm gonna have. Uh, a longer episode and then one building per episode which make, well, makes more sense I hope I made sense just now um, so I'm just gonna finish these roofs up and then it's about time that we I'm just gonna do it like this otherwise we are colliding with the roof of the wall which can be a nice thing but it's not always and this is just a rough sketch, so we are going to also bring in some more detail into the roof as we did with the other ones by placing chimneys or these kinds of things here. So this is... I think this is a nice framework and uh, I like the... I personally like the idea of, idea of having these uh, separate smaller houses on top of uh, different layers here. We'll bring in some more variation. Can't even talk properly. And yeah... From this side, it also looks nice. If we stand on the bridge and take a look here, we can immediately see that this house is taller. And once again, it has a kind of inset from the other buildings. So we have these three corpi, plural of corpus, yeah, corpi going on here, which is a nice thing. I do, th I do think this, this quarter is well on the way to be very nice. So yeah, this should be about it for this episode. We finished the frames. Did I finish the frames? Let's check it real quick. Uh, well, we I forgot the frames for the floors, but let's do this in the next episodes when we exactly know what it's going to turn out to be. Uh, of course, we need to place these blocks. And with that, I'm done with the frames. So, uh, yeah, as I said, post comments down below about what do you mean, what should I add to this plain side here? And, well, with that, there's nothing left to say from me about after Madness 64. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, make my made today. We will know if we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.